Scott Kilgrip, the Video Foot Doc, here with another video for you on all things foot and ankle. Today I'm going to talk about a very important topic, which is what to generally expect during the process of recovering from bunion surgery. Uh, now, bunion surgery unfortunately has this bad reputation as being a particularly painful surgery to recover from, and that's not necessarily the case. Uh, the majority of the time, bunion surgery, while it can be uncomfortable, should not be an extremely painful process during the recovery period. Uh, and some very important uh, considerations need to be made in order to ensure that this process uh, it, it goes pretty smooth and does not have a significant amount of pain. Um, it's very important to note that when you're fixing a bunion uh, and you have bunion surgery, uh, that there are some things that you really have to keep in mind to make that process easier. And unfortunately, those who have uh, a bad uh, recovery or a painful recovery uh, oftentimes uh, ignore those considerations and become far too active uh, on their feet uh, for what should be uh, what should be done and that can contribute to the vast majority of cases why people have a lot more significant pain when they're recovering from bunion surgery. Now to, to put it simply foot surgery um, does require a, a lot of TLC so to speak. Um, when you operate on the foot that part of the body is the part of the body that's going to interface with the ground. When you have surgery elsewhere, such as in your abdomen or your arm, you're not actually placing those body parts on the ground and dragging them through during the walking process. Well, the foot is different. You are actually having to place weight on the foot if you're allowed to from the surgery. And that can put a lot of uh, pressure and a lot of strain to the part that's trying to simply heal. And while the rest of the body feels great and, and one has a lot of energy after the surgery, uh, you know, you know, a week or so after the surgery and feels pretty good, um, the foot still needs that, that resting period. And during bunion surgery, it needs approximately six weeks uh, of healing time in order for the bone that has to be shifted over and moved into another place in order for it to heal. Now, sometimes that, uh, that period can be longer. It depends on the procedure, and it also depends on the general health of the person undergoing surgery. People who smoke or people who are diabetic or have other conditions which cause a delay in the healing process will take longer for the bone to mend. Now, if one is, becomes too active on that body part too soon, uh, such as I mentioned before, then that bone will take longer to heal. There will be more inflammation at the surgery site because there will be more fluid rushing down to that part of the body, which is the lowest part of the body, and gravity will push more fluid in that's going to already be increased because of the healing process and, and the inflammation that occurs when one has to heal an injury, and surgery simply is an injury. And so when you combine all that together with Increased inflammation and decreased bone healing, one can have a, a lot more pain and discomfort during the recovery process if they're not following a few simple rules. Now, typically, a week or so after surgery, after bunion surgery, um, the body's going to have the most amount of inflammation in the foot that it should have during this entire recovery process. And this is normal. Um, the body heals by creating inflammation, but inflammation can also be painful. That's why it's very important, especially for the first week after surgery, uh, that one elevates and ices their foot according to the instructions of their surgeon. And everyone has slightly different, um, a slightly different take on how that should uh, take place um, from a surgical recovery perspective. But during that time period, if one can rest their foot and maintain uh, as much icing and elevation as needed per the instructions, then the likelihood of having more significant inflammation further on down the recovery uh, period is decreased. Now that's not to say the only time that inflammation occurs is during the first week after surgery. This is, this is definitely not the case. Um, inflammation can occur at any point in time while the, uh, the, the tissue, such as the soft tissue and the skin, is still healing, as well as any time while the bone is still healing, which can take, as I said, up to uh, six weeks in, at the very uh, least for most people. Now, the icing and the elevation are important parts of this, but also simply reducing activity is, is a very important part. Some people after bunion surgery, because they feel really good and they don't, uh, they don't feel sick or feel like they're recovering uh, and from a general body perspective, will become much too active on their foot. And this activity um, increases strain to the foot and also increases um, uh, the inflammation that will, uh, will occur in the foot, um, especially towards the end of the day. And uh, that will cause more pain and more discomfort uh, as well. Now, during the uh, recovery process, as this continues onward, um, the inflammation should start to reduce, um, and the likelihood that uh, increased activity will cause this inflammation to flare up decreases. 
but once again, this usually tends to occur further on down the recovery process. Uh, you, you know, maybe after a month or so, uh, people can start to get a, a little bit more uh, active on their foot and um, allow for uh, a little bit more uh, strain and pressure to the surgical site. Now I'm saying this based on my opinions. All surgeons have their own different um, uh, recommendations regarding activity after surgery. I tend to be a little bit more conservative because I prefer my patients to, to be a little bit more comfortable during the recovery process. Uh, some surgeons advocate uh, a much sooner return to activity to try to keep a, a motion going at the joint. Um, but this really is um, surgeon preference. Um, but in general, most people advocate you know, less activity during this recovery process to allow the bone to simply heal. Now, when I speak of this activity and weight bearing, this is assuming that the surgery that's being done is um, one of the more typical types of bunion, which addresses um, a moderate deformity um, by making a cut in the bone a little bit closer to the head of the bone. That's one of the most common procedures performed to correct bunions, but people with very large bunions uh, or people with a lot of instability at the base of uh, behind where the bunion sits and, and, the, and, the, and the joint that sort of is the next joint down, um, those people have to have uh, procedures that address the deformity at those levels. And unfortunately, that's, that area of the bone is much more unstable. Uh, and in some cases, that bone, uh, the joint behind that area has to be fused. And so during those recovery processes, most people uh, don't advocate any weight bearing at all, which means that the foot will be in a, in a cast and crutches will be used to, uh, to support it while it heals because buried anyway, even in a walking boot, which is what's typically used for a lot of bunion surgeries, uh, even weight bearing during that time period uh, will disrupt uh, the actual um, surgical site and, and cause the bone not to heal properly. It could break the surgical site even and reduce the likelihood that, that the bone will fuse together. So in those respects, um, that type of activity is going to be much more significantly curtailed during those types of uh, uh, procedures. But the vast majority of the time, um, people are still ambulatory or, or in other words, are still walking in a walking boot uh, for a lot of bunion cases, but not, but not all. So in essence, um, bunion surgery does not necessarily deserve the reputation it has. Um, because as long as one can keep their foot iced and elevated and reduce their activity and follow their surgeon's instructions, um, the likelihood of having a significant pain and significant discomfort uh, is going to be less. Now, bunion surgery, like any other foot surgery, there's no way that it's not going to be painful to some degree. Some pain ha you know, is going to occur, as will occur in most all foot surgery, but it should be tolerable and should be manageable as long as uh, the person or the person who's having the surgery uh, you know, follows those instructions and is able to, um, is able to you know, keep off of it and keep the foot well protected and elevated and iced. Now, there are people that fall outside that, uh, outside that uh, normal curve there. There are some people that just simply don't recover well from these types of surgical procedures um, and, and simply do have you know, pain significant or otherwise um, uh, from this recovery without really any you know, rhyme, reason, or explanation. Uh, but but that, type of, uh, that type of uh, situation is pretty uncommon, and the vast majority of people who undergo bunion surgery um, do pretty well, and when they do have a lot more significant pain, it's usually, as I said, due to overactivity uh, and allowing too much inflammation to occur in the foot. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please look for more videos on all things foot and ankle on this site as well as others, or you may check out my website at www.inpodiatrygroup.com. Thank you.